What's up, guys? This is Peter, not your average guy. And you are sitting at home, probably watching the Nevermind, your own YouTube channel. I am in the forest here, which is a former ammunition depot from the Dutch military, but they removed most of the building. There's just one building left. Maybe we can see it somewhere. It's a nice place to drive. And I'm gonna drive around and through the forest and we know that this is difficult for the Skydio whenever trees come in between etc. But what I will do is I will try to set the drone in such a way that it will be able to film me as best as possible. So I will drive here and then once in a while I will stop, reconfigure or reposition the drone for the next uh, best shot because I cannot do that while driving. Over here it says it is ready to fly so begin flight and probably it will complain about not being able to start over here but right now it says it can so let's do it you can go buddy and it says calibrating why is it not flying all right so there it is and it's locked on to me everything is running I guess so let's start and this is this is a very nice path and I'm immediately gonna set how it has to follow me not completely from the right but in the middle between right and back So there we go. Then let it give it a chance to follow me like here. And look this path, this is nice. It does follow me. You see with the trees in between, I think this is a nice shot. And it won't get into trouble because uh, there are a lot of uh, low-hanging branches here but because it's filming me from the right side a little bit it should be able to film me and follow me pretty well what a road this is man wow you cannot drive too fast because it will launch you <laughs> Okay, and now here it, it won't be able to follow me from the right, so I will tell it to um, I, I push this button and sometimes it doesn't do that so it has to follow me from the back but even that will be difficult, so let's see what it will do, I will, I will drive very slowly and it's going into GPS tracking as you can see and I think it should um, follow me from the right right now so that will be one two like this and I'm giving it a little bit of gas come on come on we know that you can do it yeah it's locked on to me it can follow me it has to follow me from the right because over here this is all free and there it goes oh I need to get gas for my quad So taking this turn, let's see how it will do. 
has to go fast but I think it won't have a problem with, uh, with that and now we're gonna turn to the right now it's getting a little bit into problem this road man this is something <laughs> But like this, uh, it has a free pass, but now I want to go here, but I will have to set it like uh, follow me from the, from the back, because it won't be able to do that from the side. So there we go, and from the back it should be able to follow me easily. And, and over here, I think it's nice when it uh, follows me from the right side again because you got all these trees in between look I don't know where it is where is it? it's GPS tracking me now it's not really doing what I wanted wanted it to do maybe because it was uh, too close initially I can see it's over there um, whatever it can follow me here can it This is, a, this is a little bit weird, like, this happens more often that the drone is not really pointing towards me and the camera is not low so if I say go lower, can you see me then? I'm here it's not really filming me, so turn like that now it has me but it takes a long time and that's 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 weird why is it not filming me like this why it's just because it has an old GPS uh, position I don't know whatever so we're filming from the right again and now let's see yeah now it will film the trees in between like this exactly that's that that's what i meant to do it to do over there but over here there's some more trees like that so not 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 many but uh, <laughs> just two but the idea is uh, still the same so now it will have a little bit of difficulty tracking me here I guess no it's still behind me and it takes me from the right if you just give it a little bit of time you see and now it follows me from the right that's good okay so we drive over here and we can even speed up like this and I think over here you will be able to see the building over there can you see it that's that's this one building that's left now I'm wondering where to go Nah, that, that's not really a good path. I won't. I won't do that. So let's go here. And uh, let's uh, increase the range uh, a little bit and see how that will go.
if that makes a lot of difference and then I can go here I can something was falling but uh, it seems I got everything oh where are we going now um, let's let's have it follow me from behind should be able to go to the left here yep. Driving fast now. Because uh, it's open here, I know the drone can follow me. And we want some uh, some good footage as, as well, of course. You know, and then it keeps distance and when you drive slower than uh, Well, um, the problem is, I need to get gas, so I cannot drive on, but I think this was fun too, you know, I would have driven over here or over there if I had gas, but uh, look, so that's it for now, see you on the next adventure guys. Um, can it land there? It's a little bit difficult, I guess. It's not ideal, but um, I'm gonna switch this off just to... Yeah, the problem is I cannot move it around a lot. So let's just land it here. I mean I cannot I cannot move it a lot because the beacon is attached to uh to my steer so I cannot go into steering mode you know I can only say like a little bit forward a little bit backward <laughs> yeah or what I should do is is put it into steering control on my on my phone and then I can move it forward and backward I think that's possible I have to do that next time. All right. See you guys. <coughs>